Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Let's Play Invasio Barbarorum. Last time we played this, we destroyed the Picts completely and utterly as a faction because we not only took the capital of Dal Rider, but we also slaughtered their last king and family member. So they have now their remaining settlement, which was Inch Twithill over here, has now become a rebel settlement. Um, and there is still a rebel Pict army here led by another Drest, who is not to be confused with the Drest who, who, that we killed who has um, got a gigantic old army over there and um, we're gonna have to go deal with him next actually um, Dalrad is in a bit of a state, the populace are in open revolt against us because I was stupid enough to destroy their pagan shrine but uh, I cannot we are true Romano-British and therefore we shall harbour no primitive Celtic gods worshipped within our realms. So there you go. We shall either build a church here and convert them slowly to Christianity or we will build one of these Roman shrines to some Roman gods like Mithras or Sol Invictus who ironically aren't really Roman gods. They're kind of based off of other religions that the Romans encountered. <laughs> but anyway, as you can see here, the Mithras is one of the mystery cults from the east that a large part of the Roman army adopted. Um, I, though I can see why that would obviously become popular in Romano-Britain because the Romano-Britain, -Brit well, the Romano-British kind of are made up very much of, you know, the descendants of Roman legionaries who were posted here, so Mithras probably is a big deal among the Romano-British. Now I think about it, you know. But anyway, what we need to do now is I think we need to move our diplomat, actually. Yeah, there we go. Oh, right, okay, Vicus Alamani is actually under siege. And there's a Visigoth diplomat, which we might be able to talk to next turn if he doesn't run off. Under siege from who, though? The, I th actually, I think it might be the Burgundia. I think that's who they're at war with. Um, let's have a check. Visigoths, where are you? There you are. Enemies, Rome, and... That's it. Oh, and they're not Visigoths. What the hell am I doing? I need the Alemanni, not the Visigoths. Mm. Yeah, enemies, Burgundii, and Rome. So it could be either it could be either Rome or the Burgundii that are relaying siege to them right now. Anyone's guess, really? I'm most likely going to go with the Burgundii because I don't think Rome's got it in them, frankly, right now. I believe there's a Roman town around here somewhere, maybe there-ish, I think. Um, which guards one of the passes through the Alps here and here. Or maybe it's over here, I don't know, but anyway. Um, yeah, so it could feasibly be the Romans having marched north out of the Alps to attack the, the Alemanni, but I think it's probably the Burgundii who have come across from west, from deep Germania, and are marching their way across here in a ford. In a, in a ford? In a horde, even. Pardon my terrible diction today ladies and gentlemen mind you it's no more awful than usual I suppose but anyway um, oh and also we are happy to report that our projected profits are actually profits for once instead of um, negatives we're no longer losing loads and loads of money every single time I hit the t end turn button we're in fact now slowly slowly very slowly clawing it back so once we take Inch Twit Hill and then eventually we take Ireland, because there's actually a town in Ireland that we can control, um, that will much get much, much better, that little situation. So anyway, I'm going to end the turn now because there's nothing else to do for now. And we'll see how we get on. Yep. As suspected, Dal Rider is rioting. They've just they've damaged the High King's Hall and the cesspit. <laughs> well done, guys! <laughs> Show us how much you you hate us by destroying your own cesspit. Well done. Um, they killed six hundred ninety-one citizens and killed two hundred thirty-three soldiers, which I'm actually not very happy about at all. Um, but our projected profits going up to four hundred eighty-five. And we have a new family member called Verena. And Senyana Sanks has apparently got married as well. Up in Dal Rider, he got married? Hoo hoo! A picked woman, I suppose. Oh, the Vandals are at war with the Romans again. The Langobardi are allied with the Ostrogoths. The Franks are allied with the Alemanni. 
interesting. And uh, they appear to have split their forces up here in the north. Some of them, including Dressed, have decided to settle in Inge Tut Hill. Meanwhile, Captain K has decided to mm, swan off on his own for whatever reason. And Del Rider, unfortunately, is still rioting, and we can't repair any of these things that they've broken because we have no money. <sighs> and this situation isn't going to improve anytime soon, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to force them to revolt. I'm going to raise the tax rate as much as I can, try and get a bit more money. Hang on a minute, why did our profits go down when I raised the tax rate? That's ridiculous. Whoa, okay. Maybe I should raise that then. That's kind of weird. Anyway, we'll try and force a revolt. I'm going to merge that again. Good grief. Those, those fucking rioters killed quite a lot of dudes. Um, I will leave Sani Anis behind in the town to try and vainly um, do something about the revolts there, but pff, no, I don't think he's going to. Um, and I'm going to go try and get rid of this Free People's Army up here, I think. It's uh, Army of Picti, I. Or Picti. However you want to pronounce that. The Saxons still don't apparently seem to be doing anything, and I'm half tempted to send this boat off to go scout and see what they're up to, but I don't want it to get sunk either, so I think I'm just going to leave it for now. Meantime, where are you? Is that a... Yeah, it's a Frankish diplomat. I'm going to go talk to this Visigoth. Hmm. Apparently we can only offer map information. We can't actually get it from them and we can't get trade rights either. How odd. Well, would you like some map information? Have a gift. A gift is the blessing of the giver. Ah, thanks. There we go. So we're bodying up to the Visigoths. Um, meanwhile, let's talk to the Alemanni. Trade rights, please. I thank you. Now, map information. Yes. Awesome. Now, um, that probably didn't do as much good. The trade rights, I mean, but still, it's good to get had because it'll actually yes. give this guy more experience and it'll eventually increase his influence. So, uh, we also got a bit more of the map revealed, namely the Alamanni area here and a little bit of this Roman controlled bit in the Alps up here, Pannonia and Raetia. So, now oh, there's the town I was saying about the uh, Augusta Vindelicorum. There we go, it's very close to that one actually, but yeah. That's why I figured it might have been the Romans besieging Vax Um But I don't think it was. In any case, let's go see if we can try and get map information off the Romans again. Nope. Still don't want to give us anything. Fine, we'll carry on marching south through the Alps. Um, in the meantime... Ugh, stupid bloody settlement. I knew we should have, we should have, like, exterminated them. We should have. We really... Should have, and I bet people were screaming at me in the comments to exterminate them. But never mind, <laughs> exterminate. Yeah. Um. Oh, they killed some of my Allens, the bastards. Ah, oh, stupid little peasants. I'm gonna murder them lot of them. I swear to God. Anyway, let's go up there and get ready to smash some picks around. Um, next turn, apparently though. So, let's hope we don't lose money. We shouldn't. We're not projected to, but... Ah! They came to us instead. How convenient. Very well. With an army strength ratio of 3 to 1, I shall take you up on that offer, Captain. <laughs> Madrun the Despoiler is going to absolutely ruinate you. Is that even a word? I don't know. Or is no so, so much a, not is not not so much a matter of weapons as of money. Today is a good True. Day to die, True enough. But better still to live and tell our grandchildren, as yet unborn, of brave yes, Romans who fought. Yes, yes. Brave Romans, prepare to defend yourselves. How many times can we fit the word Romans into a pre-battle speech? One wonders. Also, isn't it winter? Why isn't everything covered in snow? Not that I'm complaining, especially. It's just strange. Anyway, what have we got down here? A farm of some sort. Quite a big farm, actually. 
Interesting. Could we use the farm to our advantage? Probably not really. It just obscure my view of our units really. Um I think I think I think up on this hill is good, honestly. I don't see any other hills more defensible, so Although it would be nice to have some flat ground for the cavalry to charge around on. Now I think about it. Um Right, here's what I'm gonna do. Oh boy, I think these guys are gonna have to go in reserve this time. These guys can just sit out the front, including this one little tiny unit of them that's decimated by the rioting, I think. Um, you guys fire at will. You guys guard mode, because you're going to be defending. I'll explain at some point in the future why guard mode is useful for defending exactly. Um, right now, though, we've got other things to do. Cavalry, we've got lots of cavalry now, so this should be good, including Madrun. Madrun's quite the warrior, so I think I'll deploy him with the rest of the cavalry. Instead of just sitting there watching. Right, so we've got this big open area down here. The farm is kind of in the way a bit, but hopefully um I'll just it'll, it'll give them more ground they need to march across to get to me, which means more ground I have to throw arrows at them, so with my Allens, so and if we're lucky we can make a repeat performance of the battle before our last one where we only lost like 10 men so that's the plan where are they? They're up here in the trees hmm Pretty terrible units, all told. I don't think they even have a unit of more mares with them because Dress decided to stay in in Strutil instead of leading this army. Um, we basically just have a, bit, have a big peasant horde, which is fine by me because it makes it all easier to get rid of. Let's we'll start off with these, uh, these spearmen down here. These guys in green. I'm curious to know as, how, as to how exactly this farm got here. Actually, now I think about it, because this is very Roman looking and. We're in bloody Pictavia right now. We're miles away from Roman territories, or what were once Roman territories. Never mind. I mean, I know the Romans did actually conquer a fair bit of Caledonia at one point. You know, Catadrian's War wasn't the full extent of their empire. After all, it was they 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 also had like. The Antonine Wall, which was built further north, and I think Inch Hill itself might even have been a Roman settlement at one point or another. I don't know, something vaguely in the back of my mind is telling me Inch Hill is Roman for some reason. Splat! I'm a little bit concerned about those Dimba actually, because they've got javelins and they're on a hill. Thankfully, we can still fire our arrows while moving. Because obviously, being on a hill, they're going to get more range on those javelins, which concerns me ever so slightly. Still, I might just be worried over nothing, honestly, by the looks of things. Shoot the Gerlom, they're the bigger threat here. Because once the Gerlom are out of the way, I can just charge these Dimba with my heavy cavalry. And then get rid of them. Or even just charge them with the Allens, in fact. You know what, guys? You'd have better luck if you went round the back. Not that you appear to need much hell support, help, uh, help even, of course. But um, you know. Oh, uh, guys, what do you do? All oh, right, you're in skirmish mode. Now, I'll take that off. I will manually skirmish you if needs be. Just make sure you keep. Oh god! Friggin'. I knew it. Goddamn javelins. Leave me alone. Oh yeah, that's much better. Now you're slaughtering them. We do get an attack bonus with our archers and horse archers when we attack someone from behind. 
Lulz, they're already routing. And they're actually trying to charge me, that's kind of hilarious. No, not the Cantabrian Circle, I want you to skirmish again. Hold on. Apologies, I was being shouted. Let's go check what it was they wanted. Um, wasn't anything important in the end. Yes, keep shooting them. The hapless fools. Of course you can't chase horse archers on foot. You idiots. Everyone knows you can't chase horse archers, horse archers with infantry. It's silly. The very notion is ridiculous. How many arrows do we have left? Oh, plenty. Good. We've been killing some of these Dimba guys who are stupid enough to get in the way. Excellent. Head up that way. Yeah, I know you're tired, but uh, get a move on. You kind of need to get round and hit these Elbaru and uh, these other Gerlom over here. And, oh, so he does have some more mares. Well, I guess I was totally wrong. And the little warlord guy and his horse there. Whoa, 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 what's going on? There's battle music. Why is there battle music? Slight concern now. There's nothing going on down here, so I think we're okay. The game just decided to change the music for some reason. Oh, the, the crossbowmen are charging us for some reason, apparently. I guess that's what it was. Well, they're gonna get murdered. No two ways about it, really. Poor bastards, we could probably charge them and save our arrows if we wanted to. might do that. Go get him. Yeah, charge them guys. Don't just mill around in the woods. Come on. Get your, get your lances out and do what you do best. Well, you know, do what you do second best. Wavering. Come on, break. Break, you bastards. Break. Wavering. Come on. Broken. What? Right, what are these fellas up to in the meantime? Running off that way for some reason. Are they seriously trying to flank my entire army with one unit of Gerlom? <laughs> oh dear. Fortunately, it's actually quite difficult to see where they are on the map because of their faction colour. More mares off to. Are they just retreating from the battlefield now? Is that what they're doing? Wouldn't be surprised, honestly. Wow, are they routing? Holy crap. Huh. Right, one of you can go chase them. You can go charge those other Dimba. And then after you're done with that, I need you to go um, shoot these fellas over here who <laughs> have formed a Shiltrum for some reason on this hill because apparently they thought that was a good idea. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on! For heaven's sake. Wavering. Come on. Shaken. Wavering. Come on, we're losing horsemen here, guys. Can you break them, please? Jesus. Broken. Finally. Oh, 
are you guys doing? Oh, you appear to have killed them all. Sweet. Get down there then, into the valley. Yep, you're exhausted. Like I give a damn. Been a bit of a massacre so far, judging by the number of corpses lying around here. This is good. This pleases me greatly. I think go shoot those um idiot game lawn for a while now. Garamalon. Or whatever the fuck they're called. No, don't waste 20 billion arrows on that one guy. You idiots. <sighs> they might be good with a bow, but they're not the brightest tools in the box, are they? That's pretty clear. <laughs> oh dear. Was that like half of them gone after one volley? Oh man, there we go. Let's see if we can get arrow cam, if that's possible. I don't know if it is actually. Oh, there we go. Whee! We totally miss. Is all of them dead now? Yep. Good. What the? Oh! Huh! They managed to march all the way down here. Lol. Madron! Kill them! Horse archers. Go kill these more mares. Captain K, whatever his name is. Yeah, mass route for the win. Actually, you know what? Stop firing at will and just attack them in melee. I don't want them accidentally shooting Madron in the head with an arrow. Where is Madron anyway? Oh, the there we go. Be praised. The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Sweet! Well, we don't need to continue the battle because rebels just dissipate after they've lost a battle anyway. Um, but I'm going to continue it anyway just because I want to see this little warlord guy here die. There's Madron! Go get him, Madron! Come on! I want you to kill him. Never mind. Captain Kerr. Well. Well fought, Captain Kerr. But not well enough. Victory from her generals, and this day is clearly our victory. Sweet. Look at him, Madron. There's me boy. I think I'm totally going to make him prince instead of uh, Vortimer. Because Vortimer's a useless lump of flesh, but this guy, yeah, he's got the potential he has. If any one of our generals is going to conquer all of Europe in the name of Roman Britannia, it's going to be him. With that badass shiny helmet. Anyway. Yep, we lost 20 guys. Not bad at all. Did we heal any of them? We healed three. Two of our mercenary Allen cavalry. Oh, well, three mercenary Allen cavalry. Who, holy crap, inflicted to 723 casualties, these ones did. And these ones gained some experience as well, so... They... and they got 619. They both have two silver chevrons now, which is pretty excellent great so uh, I really want to I really want to be careful with these guys though because not only have they got loads of experience and you know gold weapon and armor upgrades but I don't think we can ever recruit more of those guys they're not they're, they're not actually part of our roster they're just sort of these um, one off this one off pair of units that we get because historically there was actually a unit of Allen mercenaries you know it's, it's documented you know um, in actual real life history guys like oh my god but there was actually a unit of Allen mercenaries brought to Britain by the Romans back when they were ruling the place um, who were stationed up on Hadrian's Wall to fight the Picts so that's why we've got them you know but they're not actually part of our proper roster I don't think so we can't recruit any more so uh, once these guys are dead they're dead and every one of them that does die is dead for good we can't retrain them or anything so we need to use them sparingly and uh, carefully in any case Let's head back to the campaign map. Victorious once again. I think we'll go lay siege to Inch Tut Hill. Um, what are we going to do with Inch Tut Hill? I don't really know. You damaged the High King's Hall even more. Whatever. 
You know, I honestly, I think I might just move Senianus out of Dal Rider for the simple reason that he he might actually, by on a fluke, end up getting killed by the rioters. I'd rather that didn't happen, honestly. And there's a ceasefire between the West Romans and the Alamanni. And we'd lost some money. Wonderful. At your service. I wonder. 93% ch chance to sneak in there. Can he sneak in there and open the gates for us? Because that would allow us to... Sneak, get in there on the first turn instead of having to wait and build battering rams. Which would be actually pretty goddamn awesome. So... Yeah, let's give it a go. Don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Please don't die. Yes. Brilliant. Right, okay. Drun, get your shit together. And they didn't open the gates. Damn. Oh well. Can I try again? If I cancel the siege and... I don't think it's going to work, is it? I don't think it works like that. Nope. <laughs> wow, you can build a lot of rams in a turn. Fine, do that then. Build those, and Senianus, just, I don't know, fuck off up there and go see my drone. Um, Dal Rider is... There is nothing we can essentially do. Let's make that very clear. Like, I, I cannot salvage Dal Rider at the minute, so I might as well just let it burn. Um, until it inevitably revolts. Then we'll come back, take it over again off the rebels that live there. And we will exterminate the populace and teach them who's boss. So, uh, anyway, meantime, can we move you? Yes, we can. Oh, great, some Romans blocking the goddamn pass. Give me map information. I'd give you money if I had any. Nope, solver cannot be matched. Fuck you. Go around then. End turn, then, I guess. Nothing else for it. Yep, civil revolt. They damaged the cesspit again. Killed another 580 civilians. And yeah, there we go. It's done. Gone. And we lost another two grand because we lost our rider. And a heretical British monk disappears. Pelagius, a Romano British monk and scholar. May have been the mur may have been murdered because of his heretical teachings. He made he had made the mistake of arguing against Augustine's teachings, proposing ideas of living in sin that had much in common with pagan Stoic thought. He had also managed to avoid condemnation for heresy once, but the combined authority of the Augustine and of Augustine and Jerome uh, led to his excommunication at the Council of Carthage. Shortly after his excommunication, Pelagius disappeared. Foul play has been suspected. Oh dear. The Alemanni have allied with the Imperial Constantini, and the Franks have declared a ceasefire with them. Good for the Constantini, I suppose. Right, well, we'll deal with Inch Trut Hill first, and then we'll do something about Dal Rider. Um, and this time I'm not going to make the same mistake as last time, I am actually going to pillage and loot um, Inch Trut Hill when we take it. Which will be this very turn by the looks of things. They have a thousand guys in there and yet the odds are still three to one. Um, I could auto resolve this. I could. But I don't think I'm going to. Really. I'd probably lose way more guys than I need to so. Um, save the game. In case we get a crash or something. And off we go.